Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. A teacher runs into her best student on the street, where he is asking people for money. She finds out that his little sister is sick, and offers to help in a way that neither he nor his mother was ready for. Ronnie thought, no matter how hard we try, some problems just won't go away. He was lost in thought as he sat on a bench by the side of the road. Slowly, tears came to his eyes. This has to be done. He cried, I'm sorry, mom. Ronnie loved baseball so much that he never missed an after-school practice. But it didn't matter compared to how sick his sister was and how hard it was for his mother to pay for her care. Chelsea had been sick for a whole week, and here was Ronnie, putting money in his hat to get her medicine. But Christy didn't understand why Ronnie was asking for money in the first place. He was the richest boy in class and her best student. It didn't make sense why a boy who usually got out of his nice SUV at the school gate was now alone and asking odd people for money. What happened to his parents? How did Ronnie get hurt? Christy didn't get it. Good God, why is the son of my best friend asking for money? She asked. Christy and Ronnie's mom Brenda were best friends through good times and bad, but that was before Ricky came along. Brenda's boyfriend was Ricky, and Brenda married him against Christy's wishes. Christy had told her friend, I hope you're not going in the wrong direction by getting married to him. Marriages are made in heaven, but I'm afraid that if you marry that rich flirt, you'll make yours hell. Brenda loved Ricky with all her heart. At that time, it didn't matter what her best friend told her. She didn't listen and got married to Ricky anyway, which hurt her friendship with Christy. Christy was Ronnie's teacher, so the only time the two friends talked about anything else was about his grades. I hope everything is alright, she said as she walked up to the boy. What are you doing here Ronnie? He was shocked by Christy's voice. Ms. Jones? Ronnie got pale and couldn't say anything. Christy saw that he was clean and well-dressed. She hoped it was a joke or one of those tricks that kids his age often did. It wasn't, though. The top student in her class did, in fact, beg for money. What are you doing here Ron? Why do you have all those coins in that cap? She said, you should be at home. The boy's big teary eyes looked up at her. No Ms. Jones, I need money for my little sister's medical care. She's been sick all week, and mom has had a hard time making ends meet. Christy was taken aback. She knew that Ronnie was the richest person in the class, so she thought it was funny that he had become so poor overnight. I don't get it Ronnie. What happened? What do you mean your mom is having trouble making ends meet? She asked. Ronnie said, I tried to get a job, but nobody was willing to hire me. They sent me away, saying that there are no jobs for nine-year-old like me. Christy pursed her lips, sat down next to him, and patted him on the shoulder. She asked, tell me what happened and where is your mother, not knowing what she was about to hear. I heard my mom and dad arguing on the phone a few days ago. She asked him for money to pay for my sister's medical care. When he said no, she started yelling at him, Ronnie said. But why wouldn't your dad pay for your sister's medical care? Christy wanted to find out. Because my dad doesn't live with us anymore. He hasn't talked to us since he left us a long time ago. He took a lot of our stuff, including our car, Ronnie said. He said, that's why I walk to school now. Christy didn't know any of this, so she was pretty surprised. Ronnie and his mother had a lot of trouble after Ricky died. When his sister Chelsea got sick and needed urgent care, their bad luck got worse. So Ronnie decided to help his mother, just like she had been doing for him and his siblings. But he did it without her knowing because he was afraid she wouldn't let him beg. She would have learned a lesson from this. I told her not to marry Ricky, but she didn't listen, Christy thought with tears in her eyes. She decided that she couldn't just stand by and watch her best friend struggle, so she did something to help. Brenda won't take a dime from me, though. How can I help her? She asked herself, and an idea came to her right away. The next night, students and workers crowded around the welcome area, waiting for their turn to put money in a box that said, save little girl's life. The plan was made by Christy. She set up a school fundraiser, and it worked. Christy had even given a lot of her own money to the cause. Ronnie cried, I don't know how to thank you Ms. Jones, as Christy handed him the box of money. Ronnie gave the money to his mother in the evening. She couldn't believe it and asked him how he got so much money. My teacher, Ms. Jones, helped me, mom, he said with tears of happiness in his eyes. Brenda was touched by her best friend's help, so the next day she asked Christy to dinner. She said she was sorry for fighting with her now ex-husband Ricky and picking him over her 10 years ago. Sometimes it takes a long time to clear up misunderstandings, but it's better to do it late than never. Christy laughed as she hugged her best friend after they made up. That's it for today friends. 
Please let us know what you think about this story. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon for more amazing stories.